this coconut oil over here? I'd had this stuff on the shelf for about two months once. I didn't sell any at all. Mm. All of a sudden, a little girl came in one day, and she wanted a jar of it, you see. And she came back about two days later, ordered another jar. And I said, what are you using it That's for? That's for scars. Mm, no. What? I asked what she was using it for. She said, my mother takes a bath in it. She'd make herself a little snowball and throw it in the bathtub. And it was a wonderful way of getting a nice uh, glowing. Doesn't that smell awful, that stuff? No, coconut oil is fine. Because I use something like that down south, and I got sunstroke. And ever since the smell of Oh, that's a different thing. Oh, no, you, that's you, coconut you something. You created really. an engram there, you see. <laughs> Two years ago, Tom Marchant, a successful advertising man, became disillusioned with many of the products behind the label. He transformed a run-down, dry cleaning establishment into an eat well and keep fit shop because, as he puts it, it may be later than we think. Kind of not wanting to have any involvement with the death of animals, but it really didn't start that way. It evolved as I didn't eat meat for a long period of time, then I started feeling really good that I could look a dog in the face or a cow in the face or whatever and know that, that I wasn't having any relationship to their slaughter. Tell me, um, are there any astrological aspects pertaining to uh, being a vegetarian? I don't know. I, I know that generally if you have, um, they say that people with Virgo in their chart or a strong Virgo will be involved in health foods. What are you looking for, dear? Uh, soya butter. Soya butter. I have lecithin butter. Uh, no. You want a little jar, no. little soya butter jars? One like this. Uh, mm. like there you are. The label oh, fell off, so great. you're going to have it for one cent less. One cent less, okay. Tell me, do you like the soya butter? Love it. Why? Why? I know it's good for them, and they don't know the difference between peanut butters. <laughs> Good stuff here, God. Oh, it's all good stuff. Yeah, good for your health. That's right, dear. What do you need? Well, those are lovely honey crunch cookies. They're all... How much are they? They're 55 cents. And they're made with natural rolled oats, butter, raw sugar, unpasteurized honey. They're good for you. Oh, they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. And when you take those home, you won't let the box go without finishing the whole box. Well, I'll take, I'll take those. You're going to take those? Good. How much your bread? Oh, it's all stone ground bread. You, you must have eaten stone ground bread when you were a child, eh? But the doctor told me to eat the white bread. White bread. Well, we have little <coughs> white breads, too. A day old. Mm -hmm. Well, this might be a day old. told me to eat white bread. Now, there's a lovely little bread. It's called apple bread. How much is that? It's 45 cents, and there's five little apples in each loaf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, uh, not today, thank you. Not today? You. Good. Some other day, I will. Fine. Mm -hmm. And um, have you tried our eggs? Uh, your eggs are in my different from the other. Oh, these eggs are really different. Um, well, yes, they are because... Are they different hens? Well, uh, there's one rooster for every 20 chickens. Mm? There's one rooster for every 20 hens. And that's oh, very no. important. You know? That's something new. That Never means it brings, brings romance into the uh, barnyard. Mm -hmm. And the chickens are fed with blackstrap molasses and... Uh, oh, my mother uh, even get both that. Um, Gee, cider we vinegar. We don't take enough of that, eh? That's right. Well, oh, these eggs are really different. How much are eggs? 85 cents a dozen. Hmm? 85 cents a dozen. How much? 85 cents a dozen. 85? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a package of these eggs. What? I'm going to give them to you as a gift. Are you? That's right, dear. I want you to try a real egg. Oh, this is well, a real you egg. You can't give away your food. Well, I'm going to give it to you as a gift because you haven't been in the store before, have you? Oh. Well, I want you to try one. <laughs> so, wheat germ, buckwheat, rice polishing, soya flour, soya lecithin, and you don't want the wheat flakes nor the rye. I don't have flakes, to have the them. Corn. They're sort of. Uh... Then what is this form going to hear? This one, that's the best. Oh, this is the drink. protein drink, eh? So this is your protein drink, that's right? right? You've got your lecithin, you've got soya oil, calcium lactate, the magnesium oxide, 
brewer's yeast, non some powdered milk, soya flour, wheat germ. Um, would you like to take care of me sometime? <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly come on up. <laughs> when you, if you were to add up and read your labels in the course of a day and add up the number of chemicals you have ingested in your system, in uh, I, I could show you a bottle uh, back in my drawer there. I'll get it for you. Just wait a minute. I really must go. Okay, see you guys. I'm glad to Put it on the phone. Hey, Harry. Hey, Mike. I don't know where that guy is. Where the hell are those bloody cubes? Well, cubes have disappeared. My cubes have disappeared. I got a whole yeah, box. Of... How am I going to live? Well, if you'll give me your address, I'll mail you some. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Fine. There it is. Are you a bachelor? No. You know how to handle this stuff? I mean, have you ever cooked before in your life? A little bit. In fact, really? I'm, I'm writing a book on health cooking. Really, health sir? Food, yes. Very interesting. Perhaps you'd like to give me an autographed edition and... Uh, I will. That's some... I'll be able to pass on your gems of wisdom to <laughs> many they people. They may turn out to be that. It may, may uh, ask more questions than it's answering. Mm -hmm. You don't look like my regular run of health food customers. <laughs> you, uh, you mean the weight? No, not the weight. There's just a sort of a general air about you that gives me the feeling that uh, you might like uh, a bit of the juice of the grape on the odd occasion. I have been known to indulge in that. It, uh, I think it heightens my appreciation of the sometimes too bland health food. <laughs> he boils and the guy is a macrobiotic and he's always intimidating me about my food. Whereas most, I find most vegetarians don't. They just do their thing and they eat, and it can mm. be a lot of fun. Mm. But macrobiotic, they just eat the brown rice and very little. I mean, and this guy, I mean, I hate to get, you know, I remember, I didn't <clears> see him going to the bathroom and he had the runs all the time, this guy. Yeah, runs, he'd sit in there <clears> and he'd, he'd, he'd brrr, and, brrr, and you know, he'd go around his house and he'd be telling you about the, and it's so intimidating. We have people upstairs, they're always saying, oh, you know, and they eat like you wouldn't believe them. They, they just. Right. We're talking about they him having oh, a it's, it's great. There are two couples who live upstairs from us, and uh, he runs down to our apartment below without telling her to have a little toka toka. You know, he'll smoke a little grass. He'll run upstairs and won't tell her, right? Half an hour later, she'll come down. She says, do you have any sugar? You know, now macrobiotics don't eat sugar at all. And she'd come in and eat, not just eat something sensibly sugar, but some garbage direct, some candy bar. And she says, oh, I'm going to have an attack of sugar. You know, I'm going to have a sugar shock. A friend of mine was telling me about this character who must have been an avant-garde member of the macrobiotic group right. 50 years ago, you see. Yeah. He was a semi-yoga. And his diet consisted of three grains of barley, two yeah. grains of this, you see. Yeah. And to prove to the audience one night, to his friends and his contemporaries, how little waste there was consumed in his body, in front of them, he sat down and he had a movement. Great. And it came out in his hand, and he went, and it just. <laughs> <laughs>